finally I'm set up in the other room. That dark place. That Stygian nightmare where the ghosts rule supreme and the dead. What? And it's a bedroom. It's just a bedroom. Kind of like the last bedroom. That wasn't a bedroom. Welcome to Horror Detour, this is my little vlog series where we have a little cosy chat about various horror topics. And in this video I want to discuss something which has been on my mind for a while, especially since I've been um, doing Ghastly Tales, the podcast, and Ghastly Tales, uh, the YouTube channel. And it, you know, does audio horror require music and or sound effect? Should it use it? Um, or should the story simply rely upon the uh, the actual construction of the piece and the, the reader's voice, essentially? I'm really conflicted about this one. Uh, I'm not sure which I prefer, to be honest, but there are pros and cons to both approaches. So the most stripped back approach would be just simply to have the reader's voice telling the story and that's it. No music, no sound effects. And there is something primal about that. It connects you to the reader in a way that's very similar to that uh, sort of primal way of sitting across a campfire from someone as they tell you some uh, dark and terrifying tale in the middle of the forest. You know, that it connects you to the story through the reader that's very intimate and uh, it can also it can it can almost be a kind of hypnotic process I think when you're listening to that you you can listen to the melody of someone's voice in a lot of ways and if they're a really great voice actor or voiceover artist then absolutely the story can stand on its own just purely with that voice and that voice by itself. If you listen to audiobooks, normally audiobooks use storytelling in this way. So if you download an audiobook, it normally doesn't have music, certainly not through the story, um, and it normally doesn't have sound effects either. Some people do try that with certain pieces, but for the most part, you just get the uh, voice actor's voice and that's it. And that seems to be the industry standard for audiobook storytelling. But when you look at YouTube and you look at podcasts, it seems to be more the standard to at the very least have atmospheric sounds or music underneath the story that's being told. This can be very effective, it can help set the mood, but it can also detract from the story as well if it's if it's overpowering. Um, and this is very true of sound effects as well. They can sometimes detract from the story, but if they're used cleverly, they can immerse you even more. You imagine a scene in a story where the character is trapped in a capsized boat and the water is slowly but surely filling the, the cabin that they're in and the water's going up to the, their neck. The sound of water in that situation is going to probably hit you in a visceral way. It's going to pull you in and affect you in a, a really emotive way. It almost kind of tricks the brain into believing that you are there, you are there in that scene. So I think there's strengths and weaknesses to both approaches. When you do use music and use sound effects, you are almost changing the the storytelling telling medium in a way it's no longer just a, a, a vocal or an oral telling of the tale. It's almost going into kind of radio play territory. Um, 
and there are a lot of great podcasts that do this brilliantly well. So many tremendously talented uh, sound producers uh, out there working on uh, on these stories and really helping sell the story. And in some cases, I think sometimes if you have a story that's a little bit weak, the music and the the uh, sound effects can elevate it to a point where the story becomes or a better experience really than if you were just reading it or just listening to it. But again, the flip side is it can all, they can also detract sometimes from a really hypnotic telling of a tale. I don't know which I prefer. I think I like both. Um, on Ghastly Tales, I've, I've, I've done both. Uh, the Ghost Story Society, for example, has no atmospheric sound or um, sound effects in it. It's just me telling the story. The same with Perilous Shortcuts. But if you look at my longer stories, I there's I do music, and in some of those stories I've even had sound effects, although I keep them to a sort of minimum. The main reason that I don't do as much music on the channel, to be honest, and as much sound production as I used to do, is because of how much time it takes to actually do. Um, if I was just using a bank of sounds and music that was already pre-made, then it wouldn't take nearly as long. But I like to uh, play the music in myself. Um, I've been a musician since I was a, a wee boy. Um, so I like to record the music in and write the music. That takes time in of itself. Um, and so a video or, or an audio production that might have taken a few hours can quite easily go into 10, 20 hours of of production because you're doing that. And with time being a real, you know, a, a rare commodity for me these days, it means not being able to upload quite as often. Um, that wouldn't be as big a problem if it wasn't for the fact that YouTube scuppers channels that don't upload daily or at least a few times a week so um you you my youtube channel especially this youtube channel um has definitely seen a drop off in viewership and i don't think it's because people and their subscriber base maybe it is a, but they they're not watching as much i think it's maybe a little bit of that but i think a large part of it at least from the messages i'm getting from people is that youtube's just not showing the um not showing the videos and people's subscription boxes and things like not notifying them even when they click the bell and all that sort of stuff so anyway that's a different topic but uh that's the that's the reason why i'm not doing as much audio production on things as i used to do what i'm hoping is that the podcast and the youtube channel will get to a point where it's generating a little bit more money and then i can take time away from my freelance writing and put that towards um, making stories for the channel and doing uh, more sort of audio production. But anyway, um, the real point in this video is to ask you, which do you prefer? Do you prefer just listening to the voice of the reader? Or do you prefer having music, atmospherics? What about sound effects? I mean, it, it's possible that you like music to set the atmosphere, but you don't like sound effects. It's also possible that you like sound effects uh, in a story, but not music. So uh, I'm really, really keen to know what you think. So please do let me know in the comment section below. And uh, that's about all for now. New setup, moving the computer and setting everything up. The computer's so loud. I don't know if you can hear it. It sounds like a wind turbine. So uh, I need to do something about that. Things will get better. <laughs> but uh, I'll be back soon with uh, another original uh, story and narration. And until then, it's nearly October. Best time of the year, man. Best time. Enjoy. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.